The central bank projects that the economy will this year grow 5.9%, supported by recovery in agriculture, mining, construction, and ICT, as well as recovery in the accommodation and restaurant sector as global travel resumes. However, Central Bank Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge has identified food and fuel prices as key risks that could slow growth. The central bank approximates the economy grew 8% last year, supported by non-agriculture sectors such as the services industry that expanded by 10.1%. A growth of 10.8% after the, after the decline that we had in uh, 2020, right? So we have it there, um, yeah, 10.8 compared to the decline of uh, minus... Uh, well, 2.2% in 2020. And in this, uh, I think the exception which you see there is uh, accommodation and restaurant. This was despite a contraction of 0.9% in the agriculture sector attributed to erratic weather patterns. This year, central bank projects that the economy will continue the positive path, mainly fueled by recovery in the agriculture sector, as well as recovery in the accommodation and restaurant sector, as global travel resumed backed by increased COVID-19 vaccination. However, CBK Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge says external risks such as crude oil prices that have hit a seven-year high of $88 a barrel, as well as high food prices globally, could slow the GDP growth this year. So this remains a significant, uh, let's say, wild card, um, significant risk, uncertainty, in addition to the geopolitical tensions that have emerged in recent months. The U.S. Central Bank has hinted it could increase the benchmark interest rate as early as March this year and countries are keen following the events in the largest economy globally since the increasing cost of borrowing in America could impact prices of goods and affect the strength of other currencies. In addition, in the U.S., uh, there are concerns about the fiscal policy or stance of fiscal policies and in, in particular their, um, their, their project to, or should we say they are uh, pushing the building better um, sort of uh, uh, yeah, program uh, which has uh, hit some headwinds in the approval process. Regina Manyara reporting for Prime Edition.